All right. Here we go, guys. Welcome back to another episode and gameplay of Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation 2. I'm RDH Davis. How is everybody doing today? I hope everyone's doing well, and I hope you guys are ready for some more Kingdom Hearts, because today we're going to go to a whole new world. A dazzling place I never knew. Anyway, uh, but yeah, we're going to go. Wait, 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 wait. No, this one. I messed up. Anyways, we're going to go to... In today's episode, we're going to go to a new world. The next level. And uh, last episode, we fought against Jafar and defeated him. Uh, but unfortunately, we were not able to save Princess Jasmine. Because uh, unfortunately, she got kidnapped. And we found out who kidnapped her. It was Riku. And he took her uh, to Maleficent and the other villains. So, uh, we're on a quest to go save her and find her along with, you know, Kyrie and the others. But we found out that the reason why Jafar kidnapped Princess Jasmine, uh, we found out that these Disney villains are capturing these uh, these princesses because they're one of the seven who somehow, ho somehow hold the key to opening the door. And Sora and the others were like, the door? What, what's he talking about? But not much was said, right? Just need these a little bit more mystery. Um, so, also... Sora got the chance to meet Maleficent face to face, but uh, <laughs> she left in a hurry. Um, so there was not much conversation going on between Sora and Maleficent. Um, but I kind of think now that now that I think about it, I don't know why Maleficent left. I mean, she could have joined forces with Jafar. Jafar and Maleficent could have uh, joined together to fight against Sora and Aladdin and everything. That would have been an interesting fight, but oh well. Missed opportunity. Anyways, uh... So, after that, let me see. After that, we went to do some Trinity Marks from other previous worlds that we've already gone to, like Alice in Wonderland and Traverse Town. Not much in Tarzan, I think. I could be wrong. I don't remember. But after that, we went. We came here to the Colosseum because there was a new cup called the Pegasus Cup. We already defeated that. Oh, oh my god. Uh, the final competitors in that cup were Yuffie and Leon also known as Squall <gasps> dude that was an intense fight I was so scared <laughs> because I kept I, I needed to heal all the darn time they, they packed a punch man oh my god I think I need to be ready for the final cup because man every hit that they did on me I was so close to death but thank goodness I was able to dodge there were so many moments, guys. You should go check it out if you haven't yet. But there were so many moments. There were so many moments I could have died, but I was hanging in there. But anyways, let's let's get to it, guys. Uh, so now we're going to go to the different world. I know that... No, let me, let me say this. I know that we should go this way because, look, this one's like a star... Five-star level difficulty... But this one is a six star level difficulty. I am not gonna go, I'm gonna go this way. Why? Because when I first played this game, I, after I was, after I went to uh, Aladdin's World and then I did Monstro, I actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, from what I remember, after I went to Aladdin's, I went up. And Monstro was actually supposed to pop out in between this thing and the new world over here, right? And he would be in between here instead of down here. So it's a good thing I we met him down here. Yeah, it's a good thing I went down here because otherwise we would have had this big empty space. So he's perfect right there. And that would have been our next stop, but nah, I am going to go this way. Because like I said, uh, I went up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, yeah. Because I don't know, it just feels I want to redo like so, some of the things I did when I first played this game. And you know, not only are we celebrating its anniversary, and this is the first PlayStation 2 game that I ha that I got for the console. I just wanna, I just wanna do that. I just wanna do it. All right. So let's just get to it. But first things first, we gotta warp drive over here. And why not? We could. We could deal with the challenge. I don't mind the the, the six star difficulty because I'll, I'll accept the challenge. All right, uh, select world. 
And we're gonna go this way. Anyways, I'm excited to go in, to go in this way. Either or, they're both great worlds, but um, I don't know. I'm more excited to come this way. Let's go this way. And I think, yeah, after after we go to this world, we'll come back and do this one. All right. All right. So let's go. Yeah, I already know which world it is, but I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody who is this is their first time seeing a gameplay of Kingdom Hearts. Ouch! And now that we travel to... Alright. To more different worlds. Which world is my favorite so far that we've been to? I would say... Ooh. Woo! No! <laughs> Sorry! I'm not gonna risk it. I would say... Aladdin's world is my favorite so far. From the worlds that we've already explored, Aladdin. I really enjoyed my... The boss fight with Jafar. It was awesome seeing... Him get <laughs> getting his... Getting attacked by the Keyblade. And for a skinny villain like him, like, surprised that he wasn't... We didn't break him like a twig or something. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! <gasps> oh god, 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 oh god. Man, these heartlesses. These heartlesses just driving straight at you. Whoa, dude. Okay, this is kind of getting dangerous. I think, yeah, I need to remember that the more we keep traveling to other worlds and we go do this stuff. Woo! No! Oh, shit, I didn't see them. What in the world? Get out of my way. Oh, my God. If only this ship had a, a, a honking sound. Crazy heartless drivers. I'm so sorry that I yelled so yeah, that was I did not see that coming. I need to be careful. Oh shoot! <gasps> oh! What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Oh, oh my god! Dude, this is ridiculous. These heartlesses need to stop flying right at me. Give me that. Oh, I can't get that. <gasps> I see it. That's our next world, guys. Ooh, what is it, I wonder? Well... From the looks of it, it has a pumpkin face. So it's the planet, the world is shape of a pumpkin. And there's some interesting artistic style going on here. Hmm. Gives it like that little gothic art style to it. Halloween town, huh? Let's disembark, shall we? Woohoo! Oh man, guys. When I came to this world, I was super excited. I remember I was all like, what the heck is that world? But then I saw the pumpkin and the name, I was like, Halloween Town! I was so excited, guys. How many of you guys were super exci excited to come to this world? How many of you guys saw and loved the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas? The Nightmare Before Christmas was also one of my favorite childhood Disney movies to watch. Halloween Town. All right, guys, but well, you know the drill. Quick story time, right? So how did I get introduced to The Nightmare Before Christmas? How did I come to discover it? Well, a long time ago, when I was watching the second movie of Aladdin, which is uh, Aladdin, The Return of Jafar, um, 
and that was like back then when it was like a VHS, right? I you know how they showed a little uh, uh, short commercials or trailers of like upcoming Disney films or shows? Well, that's where I saw the trailer for The Night Before Christmas. And I remember I saw like the animation and everything. I was like, that looks different than from what I've seen. But then I'm like, wait a minute, it kind of gives me this nonstop motion picture kind of reminds me of the those Christmas movies of Santa Claus is coming to town and uh, the, what is it called? The Drummer Boy and um, what was the other one? You know, that kind of nonstop, nonstop uh, motion picture. And I was so curious. I was like, it looks creepy, but I'll watch it. And when I finally saw it, man, the intro, fantastic. Which is like playing right now, the song that's playing right now in the background of this world. Oh my goodness. Wonderful. The best intro, like one of the most popular. It, it's like the perfect song that you would play for Halloween. Boys and girls of every age, won't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see, this is our town of Halloween. This is Halloween, this is... Alright, anyways, I could go on out. But the songs in the movie, guys, also fantastic. Jack solo music, Sally song, a kidnap Mr. Sandy Claus, Oogie Boogie song. Oh my goodness. And then what's this? What's this? There's covered everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Jack. This isn't fair. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. As you can see, I watched that song. I mean, I watched that movie so many times. And I used to be a huge, huge, huge freaking fan of The Night Before Christmas. You know, because back then, Ooh, when Hot Topic was also super badass. Not the Hot Topic that we have today, but whatever, right? But I, 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 I do miss the old Hot Topic. I do like the way the, the way it used to look back then. But I remember back then, and still today, right? Uh, they used to have a bunch of like, um, what do you call it? Um, they would sell a lot of they would sell a lot of stuff of the Nightmare Before, before Christmas T-shirts, uh, merchandise, uh, action figures, whatever. It was like a, a, a cool place to go to. But um, yeah, I really liked it. I remember I was creeped out about it because some of the characters looked really creepy. But then I just loved it. And then Jack Skeleton, I, I remember I did, had a crush on him. And I know it's weird, right? I don't know. Was I the only one? Did any of you guys also? <laughs> You'd probably be like, what the hell? You know, because he was so cool. And I loved his style. He was, you know, a badass. He was a badass character. But Sally, man, oh my god. When I saw... That's one of the reasons why I wanted to watch this movie. Was because when they showed Sally in the trailer, I was like, who's she? Who's that girl that looks that's in stitches? Why does she catch my attention? She's also very beautiful. Her character and everything, like, I love it. I love it. But anyways, before I could keep, I, I could go on forever about this, guys. But it's because I, I, I still love the number... The Nightmare Before Christmas, even though I'm still not a huge, huge fan as I was like back in middle school or high school, that movie still holds, a sp uh, like it still has a special place in my heart. Cause you know, I grew up with it and I remember it kind of also pushed me into trying different art styles because I did love the art style. I used to draw Jack and Sally so many times in my sketchbooks. Is, and you know, I just love, I just, I like that in this game they did add that art style as well. The same thing for the other worlds. They still kept that the same. Uh, each world has their unique art style. But anyways, let's get to it. Oh, all right, Davis, that's enough. Shut up. Oh, well, this sure is a spooky place. I'll bet the people here are scared looking too. Don't worry, we look spooky too. If they scare us, we'll scare them right back. You think so? That face, yes. <laughs> and then look at Donald and Goofy. Look at Goofy. <laughs> very, very nice. Oh, look at his feet. Oh my God, Goofy. Trim those nail, those toenails. And look at Donald. <laughs> it's so cool that you know, he's he's like a mummy, right? But when he gets unwrapped, it's he's like invisible underneath, which is very neat, very neat. And then Sora's costume is pretty neat too. You can't look at it very well, but let me see. It's not very, you can't see it that well. But it's a nice costume too, nonetheless. Uh, all right, let's get to it. 
Oh yeah, turn on the light. Is there like a secret to this thing? No, I don't think so. Guillotine Square. All right, guys, let's get to it. If you guys haven't seen The Nightmare Before Chris, uh oh. If you have Disney Plus, watch it, guys. I know not a lot of people were not into it. Uh oh, The Heartless. But it's a, it's definitely a movie worth watching because it's, it's, it's a very, even though it's a strange film, but this, the story is very interesting. And it has its humor moments, which is pretty cool. Hmm, these heartlesses. For some reason, they don't seem to be attacking. And we can't hurt them. What's going on? There's the fountain. Goofy, you're in the you're in the shot, fool! There's the fountain. Everything looks like the way it does like in the movie. Almost everything. But they did a pretty good job. Oh, Goofy, out of my face, fool. There's the, the mayor's office. <gasps> Jack's house is over there. Wait a minute. How come you can't see? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let's explore a little bit. The fountain. Another fountain. Darn, I'm sorry that... It I'm kind of realizing like it's super foggy. Hold on. Yeah, let's go up here. Yes, there's a chest up here. A power up. Nice. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Ugh. Do you think I'll be able to do it? If I can't make it across cuz there's another a chest over there. What? Goofy move. There you go. Darn it. No, I think I'm going to need another ability to get to the other side. All right. Well, these heartlesses are just chilling for some strange reason. Is there anything in here? Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, it's like, oh, I froze. And there he is, folks. Jack Skeleton. Bravo, Jack! Bravo! Those ghosts will be a big hit at this year's Halloween. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But their movement still needs work. It's not scary enough. I want to strike bone-chilling terror. I'm going to consult the doctor. Then I'll go attend to the decorations. <laughs> Aww. I was so happy to hear Jack's voice. I was like, is it going to be the same voice actor? And it definitely is, guys. At first, for some reason, I thought it was Danny Elfman because two people did the voice of Jack Skeleton in the movie. One was the speaker and the other one was the singer. And I believe Danny Elfman was the singer for Jack Skeleton. And they had, oh, I don't know the name of the, the actor who played, uh, the who did the speeches, just the, the talks for Jack's. But it was so nice. I love that in this game, they brought back a lot of voice actors. Hey, that's quite a costume. Welcome to Halloween town. To our town, Halloween means everything. Jack and the rest of us are always looking for new ways to scare people. These heartless folks look great, don't they? This year's theme is the Heartless Halloween. Luckily, Jack found a book that talks about the heartless. <gasps> really? Uh-oh. A book? Is that, the, is that like Ansem's report? Jack found a book that talks about the heartless. 
Oh, interesting. Yeah, you see, they're not they're not doing anything. <gasps> Something's up with Jack. Something's up with Jack. Christmas time is buzzing in my skull. Would it let me be? I cannot tell. There are so many things I cannot grasp. Will my bony fingers seem to slip? <gasps> like a snowflake in a firing grip. Something's here I'm not forgetting. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember the song. <gasps> An elixir! Yes, I remember pulling the, the doorbell. Getting, though I try, I keep forgetting like a memory long since past. What does it mean? What does it mean? Alright, that's enough. I thought maybe. I feel like. No, you can't get up there. The guillotine. Okay, we gotta go talk to Jack now. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. I don't understand. Maybe the guidance system was damaged in the explosion. Nonsense. My devices are always perfect. Oh, I've got it. Why, of course. The heartless need a heart. Doctor, do you think we can add a heart to that device? Certainly. A heart's not all bad, Carl. Ah, let's get to work. To make a heart, first take a container with a lock. Oh my. We need the key to this thing first. And where did you put it? You're really gonna unlock it for them? <laughs> Why not? If they succeed. We won't have to fight the Heartless, right? Besides, I want to see the Heartless dance too. Don't you? <laughs> Not really. There we Hi, go. Hi, that was amazing. Uh, and you are... Sora. <laughs> well done, Sora. I'd like you to be a part of this year's Halloween. What's this Heartless doing here? Oh, the Heartless came to town just recently. What's frustrating is I can't get them to dance with me. So, the doctor and I are trying to improve the guidance system. Hmm. He's quite a genius. Okay, doctor, let's continue. The ingredients for a heart. Pulse. Emotion. Terror. Fear. Hope and despair. Mix them all together, and we have a heart. Mm -hmm. <gasps> it's alive. It failed. Uh. Maybe we're missing some ingredients. Let's try adding memory. Sally? Sally! Good for nothing girl. Don't know why I bothered creating her. Sally's got the memory we need. See if you can track her down. No problem. Sora, would you like to come along? Sure. Of course. Oh man, and this is where I was like, yay! Now Jack Skeleton's gonna join with us, and we're gonna get to see him in action. That's one of the things I was so excited to see, is Jack Skeleton fighting uh, alongside with us against the Heartless. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see him in action.
Uh, Jack with Donald, and then Donald with Goofy. There we go. Look how tall he is. <gasps> oh, it was so cool. I was like, oh, this is so... I, I don't know. Man, this game is like, I don't know. Made me feel like a kid again when I played it a long time ago. I mean, I was a teenager, but you know, it just felt so awesome fighting alongside with these um, Disney heroes, I guess you could say. And I don't know. It was just just a, just such a fun experience. Nostalgia. Um, also, yeah, like when Sora and his friends just walked right in like if nothing... And Jack's like, oh, that was amazing when we unlocked the the lock for them, for the heart. And Jack's like, uh, and you are I'm like, yeah, like, Sora, you guys are just meddling. You say you're we shouldn't be meddling. But you ba basically are. And there he is. I, I couldn't wait to see him run and everything. He's awesome. Jack Skellington. All right. Oh, <gasps> torn page! Well, <gasps> it's a good thing we looked in here. Very good, very good. Oh, let's talk to the doctor really quick. Sally should have the memory we need, but she's not here. Where could that girl be? <gasps> We're gonna go meet Sally now, guys. We gotta go find her, though. You might find Sally at her favorite place. You know, where people nap forever. Can you guess where? Can I? I can't get anything done without Sally. What a nuisance. I remember the, the doctor in the movie, this doctor, he creeped me out too. When he got mad every time Sally snuck out of uh, of this place, of, of the home. Because yeah, doc, this doctor, Finkelstein or whatever his name is, he's, ba he's basically Dr. Frankenstein, right? But he, they call him Finkelstein. And um, he created her to be his wife, right? Or his assistant, whatever, right? But in the movie, she wants to do so much more. She wants to go out and have fun, live life. But he keeps her locked up most of the time. Like, it's, it's, it, it's her. It's his creation. He wants her to do everything he wants, he wants her to do. No, no, no. He he wants her to do everything he wants her to do. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You get what I mean? Like, he's the master. She's supposed to do everything she tells him to. He tells her to. I can't get anything done without Sally. But then also, she has a crush on dear Jack over here. Which I do not blame her. So let's go find Jack. Sally. <gasps> have a major crisis. The heartless are completely out of control. We can't stop them. Hmm, maybe our experiment triggered something. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Donald. <gasps> Wait a minute. So now the heart the heartless are acting up. I'm thinking now that I'm replaying this. Do you think? Do you guys think also that maybe once we unlocked the heart, that's what triggered these heartlesses to start acting up now? That could be it, because they were they were doing just fine. Not until we unlocked that heart. Now I think they're going crazy. The heartless are completely out of control. The festival will be ruined. Please get rid of them for us. I'm only an unelected official. I can't do everything by myself. All right, come on, Jack. Let's see what's going on in town with these heartlesses. <gasps> oh! Heads up! Oh! Oh my God! Good job. All right, let's go. What's going on here?
Aw, thank you, Jack. Hey, you know what, Jack? You have items? Uh, can I have that? <laughs> Sorry. Sora, what are you doing? That was mine. Sorry, I don't want him to waste those potions. I, we, we need to save them for bigger threats. Uh-oh. Oh, nice hit. Actually, whatever. So, we need to fight a lot. Because remember, we're dealing... This is a high level difficulty level. Dude, it's super foggy. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Jack, look at him go. See, that's why I was like, oh my god, go Jack. Every so, when I saw Tarzan in action, I was super excited, right? Because they look cool when they're fighting. And then when I saw Aladdin, I was like, dude, look at Aladdin go. And then Jack? Super awesome. It's just awesome seeing these guys fight. Is that it? <gasps> what? There's another one? Hmm. It seems like Jack likes... He's, he, he casts a lot of magic. <gasps> Whoa! Got him. That wasn't too bad. Let's go save our progress. This one. <gasps> we have $13,588. We're rich! So down on Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Pumpkin scream. This is Halloween. Everybody make a scene. Trick or treat. Tell the neighbors gonna die. It's a town. Everybody scream. In this town of Halloween. I am the one hiding under your bed. Teeth brown sharp and eyes glowing red. I am the one hiding under your stairs. Fingers like snakes and spiders in my hair. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. I'm sorry. Hey! Davis, focus! Let's check... Wait. Let's check this place, too. Once the Heartless here... Wait. Once the Heartless here are out of the out of our way. Well, here they are. Good job. Uh oh, there's more. Yes! Treasure magnet. Oh no! These are new, and these are very dangerous. Yeah, we gotta get rid of these heartlesses. Because they, they do a lot of damage. <gasps> Look who it is, guys! Zero, have you seen Sally anywhere? <gasps> is something wrong, Jack? No, everything's going great. We're going to have the best Halloween ever. All we need now is your memory. Memory? You mean this? Forget me not. Aww. Jack, I have a bad feeling about this. Why don't you try something else? There's still time. Nothing could beat what I've got planned. Once we give the Heartless a heart, they'll dance just as I envision it. Trust me. You're going to love it. Aww. 
Sally's like, I don't know. I did not know, guys. How many of you guys knew about this? I did not know. I, I figured this out. Look at her. She's so cool. But uh, maybe it was like a year or two ago, I found out that Catherine O'Hara was the voice actress for Sally in the in the movie. In the game, it's it's voiced by somebody else. And she did a good job, right? But I did not know it was Catherine O'Hara. And then when I looked it up, I was like, the, the, uh, because on social media, it, uh, they were saying, uh, we want to wish happy birthday to this actress, Ka Catherine O'Hara. And you know how they put a, uh, like a, a collage of like all the roles she's played, the films she's come out in, in our TV shows. And then I saw the picture of Sally in there. I was like, <gasps> no, really? She did the voice of Sally? I, I was like, oh my god, I, I can't believe I never knew about that. And you see, like back then, I was a huge fan. And I did not know about this. And I thought that was super cool because she came out in also one of Tim Burton's films, uh, Beetlejuice. And she played the mom. In case for those of you who don't know who Catherine O'Hara is, she's, I can't name other movies she's come out in. I know she's in a show right now, but. If you've seen the movie Beetlejuice, she played the mom. She played the mom with the the, the weird sculptures. <laughs> but I thought that was so cool. Also, uh, Tim Burton did not direct the, the, the movie The Night Before Christmas. It was somebody else. And I think it's the same director who dir directed Coraline. <gasps> Wonderful movie. Imagine Coraline if it was... If only Coraline was a Disney film. Oof. Imagine fighting against the stepmom. I mean, no, the, not the stepmom. The, the second mom, whatever. Jack, why not? Wait, wait. Jack, why not have these kids star at the festival instead? They both look rather frightful and funny, too. They'd be better than the Heartless. Why, thank you, Sally. Oh, that's all you're going to say. Well, I appreciate it, Sally. Thank you. <gasps> Hello, Zero. Oh. Uh. Hi. Aw, I guess he's a little shy. Aw, zero. Alright. Well, thank you, Sally. Do you, remember the, do you guys remember the part in the movie when she fell from that tower? And she just broke in pieces? Oh my god, that part scared me when I was little. I felt so sad. And spooked out about it but then when she you know she was still alive and she sews herself back together it became one of my favorite parts in the movie i was like i like that that she's like yeah oh well and then she gets the needle from her hair and then the the strings and then she starts like sewing herself back like imagine like oh simple just putting myself back together she's basically like like a frankenstein the female version <gasps> oh no. Did you hear that? Yeah, I sure did. A uh, heart. What should we do? Gosh, you really are stupid. Isn't it <laughs> obvious? Tell Oogie Boogie. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, Oogie Boogie. No heartlesses? Nothing going on? Alright. Let's go over here. Then you will see this Sartana. What happened? Oh, that's what happened. I was like, whatever happened to the ball? Because, you know, this is the doctor's home. And, you know, he's famous for having that huge tower. And it's a, a big round ball at the top. But I guess it blew up when they... When their experiment went wrong or something. I don't know. Alright. Anyways. Was there anything else? Alright. We've got your memory. Yes. This is it. Now just one more ingredient. We need surprise to complete the heart. The mayor should know where it is. The mayor? Now we gotta go look for the mayor? Mm. 
<laughs> that bonehead Jack is really making a hard. <laughs> I'll be jiggered. That works for me. Ooh, when I get my hands on that. Well, I've got no hands, but I'm still gonna nab that heart and control the heartlet. <laughs> oh my god. That iconic voice. You see, like, Oogie Boogie has that wicked iconic laugh. All these Disney villains do. Jafar, Ursula, Maleficent, Cruella de Vil. Ugh. Like, there's no one. Ke Kevin Page is the, is the voice actor of Oogie Boogie, right? And I just can't picture anybody else. I can't even, like, Im imagine or hear anybody else doing the voice for Oogie Boogie. I think they, they chose right. Um, hiring him to do the voice of Wookie Boogie and bringing him to life. Now all we need is surprise. I left that to the mayor. When I first, when they talked about Oogie Boogie, like the boogeyman in the movie, I was like, oh my god, I wonder how he looks. And when they finally, re he reveals himself when they kidnap Santa Claus. And he does that song. Well, well, well. What have we here? You're joking. You're joking. <gasps> I can't believe my eyes. You're joking me. You gotta be. This can't be the right guy. Oh, he's ancient. He's ugly. Oh, God. Ow. I don't know which is worse. I might just split a scene now if I don't lie. Don't die laughing first. I gotta go. Oh my god, there's a lot of heartless here everywhere. Oof. Thank you, Jack. He Dude! Oh my god! They're attacking me! Those mummy heartlesses are very dangerous. They can do so much damage to you. Man, they just keep... What the heck? Get rid of these guys! Thank you. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of heartlesses now. Okay. Everybody okay? Oh my god. Hey, Donald didn't do so bad. I don't think he... What? Uh-oh. Oh my god, get rid of this guy, please. He's dangerous. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, actually, do we have... <gasps> Jack, what are your abilities? Treasure magnet. <gasps> he lives for the applause, applause. Icy terror. Freezes enemies with a bone chilling blizzard. That's. 
I get that. Because I see that he uses and then Blazing Fury. Blast enemies with Scorching Fire. Of course, because he's the Pumpkin King. Icy Terror. Bolts of, of Sorrow. <laughs> like, call Lightning down to shock enemies. Ghostly Scream. Summon Dark Spears to... Oh my god! These are nice names. Oh, Treasure Magnet. Treasure Magnet. Attract nearby HP, MP, balls, money, and items. Equip two to attract them from even far further further away. Second wind, recover from KO status quickly. That's a good one. I'm going to save my progress. Now we gotta go find the mayor, but he's not around town. <laughs> Let's go check out the cemetery. No. <gasps> Here I go! Good job, Jack. Not so bad. Whoa. Okay. Where are we? <gasps> Jack. <laughs> Look, there's the mayor. Where are we? That's interesting. I think we're like in a whole different area that's like in the middle of nowhere. Oh, we could climb on this? Look, there's something over there. Yeah, because I don't see anything else around here. Interesting. <gasps> Did this skeleton just move? Mayor? What's going on? Ghosts rise from those tombstones. Check the tombstones and order in the order the ghosts appear. If you get it wrong, you're in for a surprise. <gasps> That's it. Now go look at the pumpkin. Oh! It went kaboom. Open up. Mm, Jack in the box. Mm. Get it, Jack? Can we go in here? Thank you, Mayor. I think that's what we need for the doctor. <gasps> All right, Jack. Leveled up. 
Oh my god. Get him, Donald. And then look over here, guys. Look at the oh. Get rid of these heartlesses first. Okay. <gasps> the White Trinity. But look where we're at. The iconic hill from the movie that also comes out in the cover. <gasps> look at this. That, that's a cool picture right here. Not like in Kingdom Hearts 3, now you can take selfies wherever you go. Alright, let's fight some Heartlesses so we can level up. Ow. Can y'all come over here right now? They're all stuck behind the fence. Town of Halloween. Donald. Good job. Oh, I learned Blitz. What's Blitz? Strike enemies ahead of you with a powerful finishing combo. Excuse me. We'll save that another time. I don't have enough AP to equip it. What? What? I hear more heartlesses. I heard more heartlesses. Oh! Oh, a mega potion? More? What in the world? I thought we already took care of these guys. Did you hit me? Whoa, okay, now there's more heartlesses. They just appeared. Come on, guys, fight! Good. Oh my goodness. Is that it? Is that is that all of them? Oh no, because we came over here. Oh no! Jack and sing to wait wait but how does it how does that song go I'd like to join you by miss and sit together now and forever for it is plain 
as anyone can see, we're simply meant to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sally comes in. What in the? A lot of you guys would know what I'm talking about. When Sally and Jack are sing singing on that hill. All right, we're going to use this. I remember this takes us back to the other side over here. Oh! Can I do it? Uh, let me see if I can try to do it. All right. Uh. Oh man, it was too late. Oh man, it was too late, guys. All right, let's see. Uh huh. Jack, you need to get out of my way, dude. Oh, I failed, dude. Jack, get out of my way, please, because I can't see what they're doing. I need to pay attention to their movements. Donald, you too! Get out of the way! Fire. There you go. He was cold, so he was cold again. And now he's hot. There we go! Yay! Oh my god. Okay, so you see, that's how... You take care of those heartlesses. Perfect timing, man. You really need to pay attention to their movement. So, as you can see, when... Oh! Oh, man, it disappeared. When he was feeling hot, I used, you know, uh, ice magic on it. And you have to do three correct spells on them, depending on the movement that they're doing. So I did uh, ice magic, and then when he was feeling cold, I did fire magic. And then when he has like that weird sun on top of him, I never knew what that was, but I remember now it's, uh, you have to use lightning. When they're spinning around, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure if it's gravity. You have to use gravity magic. I'm still not familiar with those. Okay, sorry. Any more heartlesses? I don't mind fighting heartlesses. Yeah, come on. We need to level up anyways. Oh, that heartless just came out of nowhere. He was coming in for the fight. That was a nice dodge. Did y'all see that? God, you can dodge, Davis. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. <gasps> High potion. We need to fight more heartlesses because I need to level up. What? Usually that always finishes them off. For it is Come on, Donald, finish him off. Come 
there's this one over here. Oh, good job, Jack. Any more heartlesses? I don't mind leveling up. What level are we in? Level 33. What level is Jack? 35. <gasps> <laughs> Jack, are you stuck? Okay, I was all like... Oh, well, let's get to it then. You want more heartless heartlesses? High potion. All right, let's take this to the doctor. Man, there's a bunch of heartlesses now. That's weird, why can I? It sometimes it's not letting me get in there. Do y'all remember that part, those of you who saw the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas, the part where Sally was cooking something for the doctor because he wanted his food? And she's like, lunch. He's like, oh, worm's wart. Mm. <gasps> and frog's breath. She's like, what's wrong? I thought you liked frog's breath. Nothing's more suspicious than frog's breath. It's because she... She was trying to put the doctor to sleep, and that's how it's gonna, she was going to be able to sneak out and, you know, have fun or whatever, you know, have a girl's night out, whatever. No, but, like, she goes out and explores the world or whatever. Explores the town. Yes, this is it. Bingo. This time it's sure to work. Okie dokie. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> they took the heart! Oh, you can bet that they're taking it to Ookie Boogie. Uh oh. The nerve of those little hooligans stealing my work! Those three must be working for Oogie Boogie. They're probably at Oogie Boogie's place right now. Uh-oh, now we gotta go stop them, guys. We gotta go get back that heart. Because then Uki's gonna use it to take control of the heart. I mean, even though... Isn't he already in control of him? Huh? That's what I don't understand. When he's like, I'm gonna be able to control the heart or something. But I thought that's what Maleficent did for you all. To give you the, the power to control the heartless. I don't know. I mean, Clayton was, uh, was able to do it in Jafar. Oh, we lost them. Zero! After them, quick! <gasps> to the graveyard. But before we go over there... Oh! Oh, oh! <gasps> no, now we have new Heartlesses. The ones that are flying. Oh! Ooh, they're really trying to stop us now. Sora. Oh my god, oh my god, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my god, they're packing a punch. How am I missing? Good job. We got another one over here. Come on. <gasps> <gasps> ah! 
Thank you, Jack. That thing was chasing me. Good job. Any more? Oh! Keep fighting. Oh, man. A mega. Oh, that's a good one. That restores everybody's magic a little bit. Thank you. Good job. Any more? Yep, now that they got the heart, Oogie's trying to stop us from getting getting it back. Thirty-two to thirty-three. Alright, well I'm gonna go ahead and save this episode here. And the next episode we'll go after Lock, Shock, and Barrow. Try to get back the heart, because I'm pretty sure they already gave it to Oogie Boogie. So that means most probably in the next episode as well, we'll be fighting against Oogie Boogie. Ooh, hoo, hoo. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and my gameplay of Kingdom Hearts on the PlayStation 2. I hope you guys are having fun revisiting these worlds. And uh, yeah, I appreciate the love and support. I'll see you all next time. And just in case, just in case, if you guys are interested in checking out my Twitch channel, I do have a Twitch channel. In case for those of you who don't know, and will be interested in checking it, checking it out, the link to that will be in the description below this video. Just click on that link, and it'll take you straight there. I do stream from time to time, playing my favorite video games or brand new games, such as Kingdom Hearts, Resident Evil, uh, Final Fantasy, and all other video games. If you catch me streaming live, stop by and say hello. I hope to see you there. But y'all have a good day or a good night. Take good care of yourselves, guys. Laters!